Welcome to puzzle solving number four. In this series, the video is divided in three stages. Number one, evaluating the position. Number two, calculating the puzzle. And number three, I make a summary of what I could have done better and pretty much a little bit of a conclusion there. Your job as a viewer is to pause the video from time to time, maybe try to figure out the solution of the puzzle before I try it out. And yeah, we're, we're going to learn. So we have this puzzle. I haven't seen this before other than when I was trying to get ready for recording to record this. Sorry. And the first thing, as I mentioned at the beginning in the intro of this video is I evaluate the position. So I'm thrown into this position. I don't know what's going on. I don't know uh, material balance. I don't know um, whose king is safer. So in order to give myself some context in that sense, I have to I have to uh, think about these things. So first of all, I think activity wise, it looks like white is definitely in the upper ha hand because, well, attacking g7, this battery of the queen and the and the rook is pretty good against the king at least uh this king is also unsafe so king safety wise i think that it's still unclear until i start calculating but for now i could say that um i could say that there's only one piece i would be scared of of meeting as as white um which is the queen and other than that i think um, material balance is also pretty important but i don't think it's the highest priority in this position um but we should still mention it so material balance crook rook 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 so we cancel those queen queen knight knight so we our opponent has a bishop and a pawn for 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 nothing so our opponent is four points up if i'm not mistaken and now that i've evaluated now it's time for me to calculate so in order to calculate you have to do something well one way of doing it and one of the most famous way of calculating in an organized way is called candidate move so i'm going to make a list of three or four or at, at least three ideally uh moves that catch my eye that are look attractive for instance queen takes e8 is the first one i think many of you probably thought about this one because it's just it's one of the most forcing moves kinds of moves in chess uh, it's capturing and it's a check so queen takes e8 is obviously one of the candidate moves um other than that i don't think i uh, i don't think i have any other candidate move if I'm completely honest, but I'm going to make an effort just to to be instructive and also to create the habit of being strict with myself because chess, well, of course, it, it teaches you how to self be self controlled. Uh, so that's why I have to force myself into 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 considering a little bit more move. So h6 is there, but I think it's not going to work probably against queen takes e3 and um, queen d4. Probably there's a draw there. What if queen takes 3 knight e2? complicated maybe unnecessary h6 also bishop d7 it's unclear what my what my threat was with h6 i could take but still i'm not threatening anything right away and in this kind of positions you want to threaten something very quickly so h6 i'm going to reject that was one candidate move i rejected queen takes eight is the one that i'm i'm going to check probably um king d2 is there as well because it makes sense. I was al already looking at a line with queen takes e8, for instance, sacrificing on g7. It would be nice if I could bring my other rook into the game. So king d2 is a candidate move. But after bishop d7, once again, I struggle to see any follow-up. So I think I'm going to go for queen takes e8. It's pretty straightforward. Um, or it's pretty, it's pretty, by method of elimination, I don't think there's anything else. So queen takes e8, correct move. Rook f8, I'm assuming that something like king h7 would have... Um, would have maybe run into something like king d2 and followed by this or king e2 but rook f8 is definitely the most the most challenging one because now i'm my queen is attacked and e3 is attacked so once again i'm going to go for candidate moves um rook takes g7 is one of them queen g6 is in another one queen takes f8 as crazy as it looks i still have to look at this because this is forcing move by definition in fact this is once again one of the most forcing kinds of moves in chess it's a it's a capture and it's a check so I should, I must look at this. I, I must get into the, you must get, you the viewer, get into the habit of looking at these moves and um, and calculating them because as crazy as they look, you have to consider them. A mistake would be looking at this move and saying, okay, that's too crazy. I, probably not working. Many moves you miss during a game or during your games, many moves you will going to miss in the future if you keep doing that. So Quintus of 8, King takes of 8, I don't see a follow-up. So now I can reject it once I clearly try my best to make th that work. Um, it's clearly not working, so I'm going to move on. 
Rook takes g7 is the one that attracts me the most. Queen g6 allows queen takes g3, and maybe it's not necessary. So, rook takes g7. Let's see, king takes g7, queen g6, king h8. That's all only moves, all only moves. Other than that, rook takes g7, king takes g7, h6 is another candidate move. But okay, queen g6, let's start doing that first. King h8, queen h6, king g8. We have a draw there. Pretty good. Um, if you like draws. But is there a way to try to bring, like, let's say queen g6, king h8, something like king d2 and rook g1? Doesn't look like it. King d2, rook f2 is there. That's a problem. I have to go back to the first rank. I can't bring my rook anymore. So rook takes g7, king takes g7. Maybe I have to go for h6. And actually, this is pretty interesting. If black goes cheese to g8, queen g6, queen g7 is mate. If black goes to h8, queen takes f8, queen g7 is mate. And if black takes on h6, then I take the rook with check, and that's definitely winning for me. A king f2, the king is too, too unsafe. Black's pieces are on the queen side. This is winning for white. So rook takes g7, king takes g7, h6. Probably my opponent will have to, or probably the black, sorry. I don't have any opponent. Black will have to um, play king h7. To which I could play queen e7. And then we get the same kind of positions. There we go. So now that I've done that, I went candidate moves. I almost made the mistake of rook takes g7, king takes g7, and going into queen g6 right away. But luckily, I, I was strict with myself and I came up with this h6 move which wins the game, and after king h7, it's important to see queen e7, and that's that's the correct answer. So as a summary, let's summarize this. This this is winning for white, because after king takes h6, we take here, and let's say king f2, there's no way black can survive this. Let's say bishop d7 even. You don't even take the rook, you just checkmate with something like this. Um, There was probably a quicker mate. After something like king g8, once again, or king h8, queen g7 is mate, King g6, probably also mate very soon. Probably missed already a quicker mate, but this is this is probably going to be mate even easier you can take here. King cannot escape because of queen f4. And once again, we have this, so this sort of position. So black is in trouble, black loses. And this is this was, sorry, the only way to, to win as white. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be uploading more of this puzzle solving stuff and, and more blitz, uh, chess blitz. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know or questions. And as always, have a nice day.